with Andrew today from Bodyology. We're at the Masashi Performance Centre down here in Notting Hill. It's an awesome facility, so that if you do get a chance to come down and check it out, you have to ring the guys first because it's pretty secure. We're talking with Andrew today. Now this is the Bod Pod. So Andrew, can you tell us firstly a little bit about Bodyology and what service you provide? No worries, all right. Bodyology is an exercise science studio. It's a unique uh, business. Uh, particularly throughout Australia but also within Victoria. So what we do is we use gold standard and only the world best practice testing uh, to find out people's body composition. So the bod pod is utilised by overseas by NFL gridiron teams. Um, we're currently servicing five AFL teams down here in, in Melbourne and also the Melbourne Storm rugby team. Uh, we also work with general health and fitness people, uh, weight loss clients. Uh, we're working with the universities utilising our um, equipment as well. So we also do VO2 max aerobic testing and also metabolic testing to help people with their nutrition side of things as well as the, the training. So it's a whole encompassing service. Um, we also look to train people who don't know too much about exercise and, and hopefully help people who do know a bit about exercise learn a little bit more as well. Excellent. So it really is a one-stop shop, if you like. Definitely. And, and being in partnership with Versace and Power Bar, obviously we can talk, help you with your, your supplements as well to work with your nutrition and your training. So. Um, we all know it's a combination of all of those and getting some nice good rest and recovery as well. <laughs> so it's um, we definitely try to take a holistic approach, but also just using the best the best methods to make sure that we can track your progress. And it's more than coming in here and just doing one test and, and checking out your numbers. It really is about tracking your progress. And if you're getting not so great results, then we can talk about that and make some changes. changes. Yeah. And if you're getting great results, well, it's always good to see that as well. Absolutely. We all want those nice little changes so that our body fat comes down, don't we? Fantastic. Also, <laughs> I suppose, a little bit extra from just looking at um, the, the percentage body fat, which we always focus on, you can actually track your lean muscle mass as well to make sure Very that important. you are recovering, You um, the supplements are actually working as well, so you're getting enough protein and you're actually looking after that lean muscle. And uh, particularly, say, for, for athletes through conditioning through a season, or also people um, like yourself mm -hmm. trying to diet down for few competitions, that you're actually only losing the body fat and holding onto that muscle that you work so hard for. <laughs> We're not going to lose a lean muscle, that's for sure. Exactly. So there's just those extra kind of things that we can look at. Um, so how does the bod pod actually work? Okay, the bod pod, a lot of people might be familiar with underwater weighing. So the concept of there is that we, we measure your water displacement. Here we're using air, so it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot safer, uh, easier for the client, but also easier for me as a tester. So this uh, technology's been around for around about 10 to 13 years. Um, it's only just coming into Australia, so um, I've got one here, there's another one in Monash Hospital in Victoria. Uh, the other ones, there's five in Australia, so there's another three found at universities throughout Australia as well. So I don't have to actually get undressed to get into this blood pot, do I? No. I can still just wear a swimsuit or something and I don't have to, you know, sit there in the nude. That's right. So <laughs> we need to wear um, some tight form-fitting clothing. So for women, it's usually either a one-piece or a two-piece bathing suit or compression shorts and a, and a jogging bra. Um, for guys, it's either a Speedo or some compression shorts or some tight form-fitting underwear. Okay. We do have to wear a, uh, a stylish little swim cap as well. Oh, that's sexy, isn't it? <laughs> so the idea is, what we're trying to do is make you as slipstream as possible because we're measuring your body volume mm -hmm. and your body densities. Um, so we don't want any, you know, even little things like rings and watches and stuff we have to take off so we're getting uh, the most accurate picture of what's going on. Excellent. Well, that sounds uh, very, very scientific and very, very good. So I'm about to go and um, get undressed and get into my little bathing suit so that I can jump in the bod pod and give it a whirl. Get your follow-up measurements, see Excellent. how you've behaved yourself. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Beautiful. Okay, I'm about to jump into the bod pod. So this thing's going to come and enclose me. I'm going to actually sit in it. I'm going to sit on the seat here so you'll see me actually from the front if Dallas gets the video camera and comes around you'll actually see me. So I'm going to jump in. Oh here we go. It's cold. <laughs> right Lindy that's as hard as it gets. Oh, that one out, we're all done. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> So you take that well, cap off if you want. I'm absolutely <laughs> standing with this cap on. It's just yummy. Oh, that was painless. Fantastic. Awesome. Let's have a look at the results. Thank you. And again, you get a look at the same <laughs> same numbers, but um, yeah. so we're looking at this here again. So just your body mass has actually gone up, but your fat mass has come down. Unreal. So both your body mass and lean mass has gone up, showing that also what's happened here is your resting metabolic rate has increased because you've increased muscle. Yep. So, um, and this pink line here, your estimated total energy expenditure, 
Uh, we had you at low activity last time, so the only reason that's really spiked up um, at all what? Actually, sorry. Yeah, the reason that spiked up so much is because I put you in a higher activity level, thinking that your training probably picked up yeah, a bit from, it from has last time. A little bit, yeah, cardio wise, it has. But so, I mean, all this just shows us effectively what we've been speaking about that muscle's gone up by um, about a kilogram, fat's gone down by about 0.7. Mate, that is brilliant. I always thought that I never would be able to put on lean muscle and drop body fat at the same time. Like, yeah. I honestly thought that for me that was a myth, but. Yeah. That's right. And look, it's a lot harder. I mean, generally speaking, when we put on muscle, it's very easy to put on a bit of fat with that because yeah. we're trying for energy surplus. We're trying yeah. to, to build up. Um, but look, I see, I see it a lot mainly in, in, in people who do train intensely, like yourself. Like, pre-season athletes for, for most of their sports are able to do it. Again, it's not something that we typically aim for. Like, generally speaking, mm. when we go through bulk building phases, we expect to put on a bit of body fat yeah, with that. When we, when we try to lose body fat, we often do end up losing a little bit of muscle with it. Yeah. But it just sort of goes to show that if you get the science right, if you use the right That's supplements, incredible. if you're getting That's your training it. right, you can actually... Well, uh, training's right. been spot on. Like, training's been brilliant. Supplementation has been better than spot on. It's 150% right all the time. Yeah. So, the results are there. They speak for themselves. And my Bodge nutrition... Bodge doesn't lie. No, it's <laughs> like, yes!